I'm Lauren, and this is Oliver, and we own Escutney Harvest. We're in Escutney, Vermont, and we grow on, let's say, less than a half an acre, um, intensive market garden style, uh, mixed veg, focusing on greens and herbs. We are doing two farmers markets right now and some small local wholesale accounts. I've been farming for a little over 10 years, and this is the third year in operation. I farmed on um, multiple um, mixed operations, um, mostly doing animal husbandry and tractor work, making hay, a little bit of CSA veggie work at uh, Maple Wind Farm years ago. Um, but I mostly just take care of infrastructure projects at Escutney Harvest and my, I do carpentry for my day job. But it's it's a it's a fun life, yeah. you know. We get to do things for ourselves, and you know, I think we've been pretty fortunate to think and act to reach out to a Vermont Extension Service. You know, these ag ag engineers combined with us actually being able to have the tools and time to do stuff and the skills to and the skills build it, yeah, to at least figure out how to build it. Yeah. Um, has been pretty fortunate. What What was your original wash pack setup when you first <laughs> got started? Yeah, so it was my market tent and my market tables with my market totes filled with water. Um, <laughs> and I had a single fridge I got from the salvage that used to live in the barn. And it would, if you took the shelves out, it would fit two of these totes stacked up. So I'd cram that, I would cram the drawers, I would cram the doors, and I would just stick everything else outside and hope for the best. But I'd have to basically like break down my tables and canopy, pack them to go to the market. I think you would also get up really early and harvest yeah, as my, much as you could the morning Yeah, my Saturday of. market, how was I supposed to do greens for a morning market? So I'd just get up at like five and set up my wash pack and, you know. So this has really changed the game. Um, <laughs> I mean, we knew it was not a long-term solution. We were kind of toying around with what would be ideal. Um, we've been talking about redoing the barn. So we were like, is it part of that? Is it a standalone building? What's going to fit our needs in the future? Um, we were kind of toying with that. And I think we settled on whether we do the barn or not we need some place in the meantime um i think when she says do the barn she's talking about like taking it down and rebuilding yeah like completely like redoing the barn so if we were going to choose to do that it wasn't going to happen for next season no matter what um i mean we could have set it up in the barn but it's an old 1830s 40s era barn we could have set it up in there but we wanted the option to i, I need the workspace for construction work mm -hmm. i need it for a shop and we don't storage really want a ton of water in there frankly. we don't want a ton of water in there doesn't have good light it we might like know. to take it down <laughs> and then we thought you know if someday we were able to build a new barn with a new with a wash pack integrated then we could sell our shipping container because it could easily be just be picked up and mm -hmm. rolled away so we thought it would give us options but now we really like it, so we're probably just going to keep, keep it. it. <laughs> it. One disadvantage of it that we have noticed is the location. It just takes up a little space in the growing space. But but really, it's pretty it's nice. It's also an advantage. It's also an advantage because it's so centrally located. We mm -hmm. just stuck. It's like right smack in the middle of our growing space. So mm -hmm. everything just kind of funnels into it. And it's right behind this nice big double gate so we can drive right in. We can drive up to the big door. We can drive right up to the person door if we want. It was fall 2021, I think, I think so. when we got it. Um, so building materials were crazy expensive. Um, we were both busy and, you know, constructing a shed takes a lot of time. Um, and we just didn't know what we wanted for the future. We were toying with like, do we want it over here? Do we want it over here? Do we, you know, so we can move this or get rid of it or it, yeah. it just has more functionality and it was an existing 
shell shell which yeah. is you know unless the doors are wide open keeps the insects out keeps the rodents out you know it's it's nice i love how well lit it is um, most of the wash packs i've worked in are pretty dark um and i didn't realize quite what a big difference it made until i could work with this much light you can really see everything you're doing and see all the vegetables clearly um, and work off hours also like if you're running late and you need to do something at night no problem sort of a combination of having bright white walls and mm -hmm. staggered waterproof light fixtures um, that minimize shadows it's a really clean visibility i guess my favorite feature is well, I guess the refrigerator room, it's so spacious. You have plenty mm -hmm. of room to do everything that you need. Mm -hmm. It's 16 by eight, a little less because of the, the interior walls. But um, I didn't mention that it's, uh, it's got um, uh, closed cell spray foam, which was frankly almost as expensive as the container itself. But I think it's worth it. I think it's like, pretty energy efficient for what we're trying to do it um, yeah I, I just like the refrig the capacity to refrigerate on mm -hmm. such a large scale it gives us a lot of room to grow as a business so mm -hmm. I think that's probably my favorite feature and it's also adaptable like you know depending on your skills and time and needs you don't have to paint it you don't have to have lighting you don't you can have the whole thing a cooler if you want you can have you know you could do rigid foam instead of spray foam yep. there's there's options yeah yeah you certainly don't have to have a window though it's yeah. nice yeah that was just some that was just a bonus because we had it um and I don't know, it's sort of a morale boost to be able to stand at the sink and look out the window. I mean, mm -hmm. most houses have that for a feature. I think for good <laughs> reason, you know, I think it's just like natural for humans to want to survey their place. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a pretty nice place to survey, I'd say. <laughs> the hand washing sink, for sure. Um, I wanted that close by so I could wash my hands right before I started washing the produce. Um, three bay sink, just trying to keep all the water contained and drained and not splashing all over the ground. Um, just having a workflow, like just having an order in which things move through. Um, typically this big door is closed on that side um, to shade the produce, but just having all the dirty stuff come in one side move clean into the cooler dirty bins come right out this door again dunnage racks dunnage racks keep stuff up off the ground washable walls yep nice feature of a shipping yep. container you don't have to build any washable walls they just they are they are <laughs> yeah i wish i hadn't damaged our window but i didn't know that um sparks would dam you know burn a window so that's unfortunate but it's not a big deal it still lets light through and it is just a work space so it's okay mm -hmm. um it was an honest mistake you have to be pretty creative to use residential um doors and windows on a shipping container mm. um you have to be a little crafty and and adaptive to the situation but um so I, I wouldn't say i have any regrets in that regard there's not there's not if they don't really make uh things for this purpose things for this purpose so yeah. it's just been sort of iter iterative to try to figure it out um, you just kind of have to stick with it and deal with issues as they come up i guess one thing I don't know if we would change anything, but one thing we're noticing is just the paint is kind of scuffing up. We might need to repaint after this season, but. I used an epoxy, um, a part epoxy heavy duty floor paint, but, um, and, and filled all the holes in the, there's like little 
countersunk screw holes that hold the the marine grade plywood to the steel frame underneath. So I filled all those up so they wouldn't fill up with dirt and rot out. Um, and then put this um, epoxy paint on, but it's just not holding it up. I might have put more layers of paint on, but it was expensive paint, so yeah. whatever. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it again. And again. <laughs> like, you know, maybe every other like, year yeah. if I care enough mm -hmm. in the before the season starts, maybe just put a couple buy a couple of cans of paint and just put it right to it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't call it a regret. I just sure. it, 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 it's going to need it's always going to need something. It's like a house, you know, you just kind of have to keep up, sure. you know, if you can.